I have a last question from a previous guest, and then I'll ask you to give me one for my next guest. What's the most interesting thing that you've learned or seen in the past couple weeks, months, most recently? Most interesting thing that I've learned in the past weeks or months. I mean, so I'm gonna go back to something I mentioned a little earlier, but the two hour cocktail party, this book, if anybody likes to, if anyone wants to get more out of their social life and does like networking and stuff like that, I highly recommend this book. It's very tactical. Yeah. And Nick Gray, the author, he just, he picks apart all these little tiny things, like whether or not people should wear name tags. He picks apart things like doing icebreaker questions in a specific like format that makes total sense in terms of gets the most out of people. He even goes to so far as he has a specific idea on if there's a bunch of people talking in a room, how do we get their attention without being a total jerk and being very jarring. So he's like, I have a harmonica and our harmonica, it sounds really nice on the ears and it makes people intrigued in terms of what's going on. And so it's his book full of these little things about throwing events and parties and whatnot that like I would have never thought about to the level that he had just because he had so much experience yeah. in throwing them. So I would say I read that book a year ago and I read or I threw a handful of these little two hour cocktail parties on my house and it was just a lot of fun. So I would say one of the most interesting things for me was just the dynamics between all these little tiny things to do at events. I like that. Um, I feel like Nick has a different kind of energy and like I've done two hour cocktail parties, but when you go to one that Nick is hosting, I feel like the energy is just on a very different, yeah. like, and up there. I'm not like a very like happy go. I'm not going to be like bouncing on my feet all the time, but like Nick's energy at his events is just a different level that I don't think I could ever match. But again, <laughs> it creates a different vibe. It creates a different environment, makes people feel more comforting. I think one thing I've seen him do at events that I really like is if there's someone standing in a corner, he very naturally brings them into the circle, introduces mm. them and then fucks off and goes to a different circle but like now this person's like chatting versus they were just standing on the side i think that's something that i've seen him do really well at yeah like larger events it's just like everyone's just always talking to someone there's i don't think i've ever seen anyone stand alone that he will not go to and pull into some circle so i like i like that he does that yeah yeah he's amazing <laughs> uh what's what's your question for my next guest what is a favorite story that you like to share from early on in your entrepreneurial journey. Yeah.